I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. What was that? <laughs> Just as I was packing my things, my cell phone began. My cell phone began ringing in my vibrating in my packet. I slid my phone out of my pocket and answered it, while slowly eating easing myself onto my bed. How? Who could possibly calling? Hey Anderson, you there? Is everything all right? We were worried about you, so we decided to call. Hello? I'm really glad you guys called. My voice managed to come out, though it was only a whisper. What happened? Are you okay? Well, I slowly began to tell them about the funeral that afternoon. A small silence followed when I was done recounting what happened. To my relief, Naomi finally spoke up. I can't begin to imagine how you must be feeling right now. I'm so sorry. Do you want us to come over right now? No, it's okay. My dad isn't in a good mood, so... Can we just keep talking on the phone like this? Of course. We'd stay on the phone until the crack of dawn, right, Susan? Yeah, we're always here if you need us. After all, we wouldn't be the awesome triple threat trio without you, right? <laughs> yeah. Triple threat trio, that sounds like the name of a gang. Yeah, I mean... We're all in the world together. We've got to sound somewhat scary, or else no one's going to take us seriously. What's with you in naming things? You gotta step up your game, Naomi. Falling behind the cool kids like Anderson and me. <laughs> hey, I'm a cool kid. If anything, I'd say I have to. You have to step your game up. We chatted cheerfully about all sorts of things. Very soon, I'd forgotten about the events that day and was engaged in a conversation about Naomi's favorite TV show, some program called Hairlock. We all agreed that the actor playing the t your character certainly had a very distinctive look about him, with uh, with that long overcoat and scarf wrapping around his neck. <laughs> we had many disagreements about who we thought was the coolest character. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. He has really high cheekbones and his eyes are pretty, though I'd, I do have to say I prefer Jatson. And as a bonus, his actor is just so sassy. I looked at the clock hanging on the wall and realized how late it was. Whoa, it's already 1 a.m.? Sorry for keeping you guys up late. I think I'm going to hit the hay for tonight. See you guys tomorrow at school. I should probably shower and go to bed. I can't believe I stayed up this late just to talk to my friends. But it was really nice. Well, to the bathroom I go. I took a relaxing shower. Nothing beat hot water and the feeling of being clean after drying myself promptly. And dressed in my pajamas and crawled into bed. Ah, a nice hot shower after a long go day. I'm so glad to finally be in bed. It had been a really long day. I knew that I was wish washing for something to change. Wishing, oh, wishing. I knew that I was wishing for something to change back in class, but I certainly wasn't expecting any of the changes that happened today. And I have to go back to school tomorrow. Oh, Curled up on my side and tightly wrapped the blankets around me. I really wasn't in the mood to be returning to school, but my dad probably would make me just go for the sake of it. It's time to go to sleep. I reached out to the lamp on my nightstand to turn the lights off. However, my mind was so lost in the passing of my grandfather and the thought of inheriting something so big that it haunted my mind the entire night until the next morning. <laughs>